Hello friends, happy Wednesday. Hope you're all doing well as we hit the midweek and looking forward to that slide down into the weekend again. I am smoking my Tim Thorpe. Um, I call this a bent apple. I think that's what Tim called it. It might be a, no, I'm sorry, canted apple. It might be a canted egg. I don't know, but I love the pipe. Smokes very well. And I am smoking some, surprise, surprise, Cornell and Deal Star of the East Flake. Yeah, a lot of Kia. <clears throat> and what I can say about this blend so far, this is my second bowl, so I'm not going to be speaking from any highly educated point of view, but um, it's probably not for me. I don't know if that's because my Latakia binge is finally coming to an end. Uh, I tried this because the Latakias I was really enjoying recently were all flake or, or crumble cake. And I thought, okay, another flake. Let's, let's give it a shot. I love Star of the East, the ribbon cut. So This just, it's got a sourness to it that I'm not enjoying. But again, it's just the second bowl. We got to give it some time. It's not in any way bad. I mean, it's 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 a well well blended tobacco, well behaved. Um, it's just the the flavor profile just isn't to my particular liking. But I can see why folks like my buddy Everett Young really enjoy it. It's uh, it's good in many many ways. So preparedness. Uh, so if you if you followed me last weekend, I I spent a lot of time last week and and most of my free time last weekend getting the basement in shape for um, what was ultimately going to be a furnace service on uh, yesterday Tuesday. They were going to be here at between eight and nine o'clock in the morning. Get all ready for that. You know, I, I actually do my day job from here, so I had to like move that all upstairs and get everything ready. I had to clean this because it's been absolute chaos down here, and I'm rather proud of this. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to turn the camera around and actually show you, um, give you an idea of what's been going on. So that's my metal lathe, and let's see if we can just sort of force that around. There we go. And this has been just absolute chaos. This is the best that this has looked in years. So I'm really, really happy about that. Uh, so we're getting there. We're actually getting there and we're soon going to have this back to being a functional woodworking shop as well as a pipe shop. And now I cannot get the camera to roll back. Eh. That's what I get for trying to be fancy. There we go. So anyway, that's why the angle is a bit different because I had to move everything around and I haven't decided yet if this is going to be the, the best angle or if I'm going to go with something else. But uh, it's a little bit better because I've got a desk right over here. So before I used to have a table where I could put like my drink and my pipe and stuff through on live streams and this would be a little bit more uh, in theory comfortable. But now I got this bench right behind me so I'm limited in my movements and stuff so I don't know. Because, you know, I'm a very active live streamer, right? So, yeah, I got all that done. And 8 o'clock came and went, and 9 o'clock came and went. And my wife called and said, what time do you think you guys are going to show up? And they said, oh, did we say the 18th? We meant February 8th. So, yeah, they're not going to be here until February 8th. But I'm ready, right? That's something. And the other thing that I'm getting prepared for is, um, as I mentioned on Sunday, tomorrow I'm going to be going in for a very, very minor surgical procedure, really minor. Um, I'll, it's an outpatient thing. I'll be home tomorrow afternoon, um, not tomorrow evening because I don't go till 1230. Uh, they told me that I will 
likely be able to go back to work on Friday as long as I don't have to lift over 10 pounds. And, you know, that's not a problem for me because most of my work is sitting here typing. So that'll be fine. So I really don't, don't expect that there's going to be any issues with this at all. But many people have already offered well wishes and prayers, and I appreciate it. And please do... Do pray and continue to think kindly of me, uh, especially tomorrow afternoon, because it helps. It helps, and you never know. Um, I'll tell you a quick story. I th This was years and years ago. Um, I had, uh, most of you guys know, I had uh, cancer and got treated for I had to get chemotherapy and radiation. And for the chemotherapy, they had to put a port in my chest, um, which, you know, it's not a big deal, and I don't even remember it being put in. But when it came time to take it out, I found out that they were going to do it in the doctor's office without any anesthesia, well, local anesthesia only. And that kind of freaked me out because it was going into a major vein and it just it just freaked me out. And I talked about this and so many people said they were praying for me. And I was, I hate to say it, but I was scared. You know, I really was. And I got up that morning and, and thought about all these people out there praying. And I walked into that doctor's office with such a sense of calm and and just certainty that the right outcome was going to happen. Whatever happened, it was going to be the right thing. Um, and I attribute that to all those prayers. I, I really do think there's great power in it. And we've seen prayers work, uh, work miracles. So uh, I appreciate you guys praying. Oh, sorry. I just, the other thing is that the the table that the computer and camera on is off balance at this angle, so if I touch it, it rocks. We'll get it sorted. So anyway, to keep my wife happy and probably to do the right thing, uh, I've decided I'm not going to do a live stream this Friday. So this Friday night, there will not be uh, a, a live stream from me. There's plenty of other guys doing live streams. You'll you'll find something to keep you occupied, I'm sure. And if you don't, um, I don't know, watch Netflix or something. You know? <laughs> Just don't watch the Hallmark Channel. Do you know, <laughs> so the Hallmark Channel has spawned multiple channels now. And I don't know the details, but we of course have them all on. And there are, they are still playing Christmas movies. There's one channel that, like, I don't know, every Friday night, maybe, it plays Christmas movies. I can't get away from this stuff. <laughs> Just, it's the nightmare continues. But anyway, we'll see. So, yeah, I've been spending a lot of time getting prepared for nothing, getting prepared for the surgery tomorrow. Just tried to get the shop in shape and... Allow me to do some things that are relatively light, uh, just to stay sane. You know, so I might work on some lighters. I've got, uh, I've been playing around with some different finishes, so I might continue to do that. Boxed up everything that I have from other folks. So, uh, Bill, Ben, and Rick, your stuff is secure with your addresses in it. Uh, you never know. <laughs> It'll get back to you. And then it's going to be about mm, four to six weeks before I can actually get back to to, do, to working on those things. So sorry about that, but this is just the way life is sometimes. And in getting all this stuff prepared, I've let a lot of other stuff slip. And I, you know, I've got correspondences that I'm way behind on. So uh, Christian, I think Dean, maybe Michael, and... Dave, I know I owe you emails. I'll get to them, and I apologize for the delay. Uh, Doug, I hope you got my voicemail today. Uh, thank you. Uh, Jack, I was talking to Jack Kurtz on the phone earlier today, and uh, the hospital called while I was talking to him, so I had to hang up really quickly. Sorry about that, Jack. Uh, we'll chat soon. Yeah, it's uh, when you get real busy, unfortunately people you care about tend to move to the background and you know just the way it has to be sometimes but it's unfortunate
yeah, this this star of these flake it smokes really well, so I'm not uh, not at all bothered by that. Just the flavor. So I want to mention something else. We've got uh, coming up on February 11th. We're going to have a special live stream event. We're going to do the Super Bowl spectacular. <laughs> And this is going to be a live tasting of our buddy Tim Fournier's own personal blend that he has named I Hate Roger Goodell. And if you don't know who Roger Goodell is, look him up. You'll understand pretty quickly why I share Tim's opinion of him, and I'm looking forward to trying Tim's blend. Uh, from what I recall, it is a blend of Burley's, uh, Black Cavendish, and some Orientals. And it sounds really good. Tim has generously offered to put together samples that I will send out to folks that want to try this. So well, there's a catch. If you want to try it, you've got to appear on the live stream. We're going to do like a Google Meetup thing where you folks will be able to watch us all load the pipe and, and try it for the first time, kind of like we did with Windjammer uh, last year. So I'm looking forward to this. So far, it's going to be myself, Tim, and one other uh, volunteer so far. I'd like to get another two, maybe three uh, folks interested. So if you've got any interest in, in trying a new tobacco blend, uh, get in touch. My email is canerodpiper at gmail.com. It's in my about page if you can't find it, and I'll try to remember to stick it in the description. Although I don't like to do that because it leads to spam. So don't look in the description. Look on the about page of my channel. Canerodpiper at gmail.com. It's easy. <clears throat> and uh, send, me a, send me an email and uh, your address, and I'll get you on the list, and we'll get the tobacco out to you so you've got it ready uh, for February 11th. Don't smoke it before February 11th. It's going to be a live first impression kind of thing. So looking forward to that. It should be a lot of fun. Uh, Tim's a, a, a good guy, and he's a funny guy, so I always enjoy chatting with him. And I'm sure that even if it's just the three of us, we'll, we'll make the, the time fly by. So looking forward to that. So won't be here this Friday. I'm going to try to negotiate with my wife to let me do a Sunday video. I think I'll be able to do that. I know I'll be able to do it. It's whether or not she lets me. But she sleeps late, so I could probably sneak down here and get it out of the way. Um, yeah, we'll see what happens. But if not, I'll certainly have something up on Wednesday, and uh, you know, you'll definitely see me the following Friday. So with that, guys, I'm going to go finish this up. i got a little bit more day job work to do before I can call it a day. And uh, got to eat a lot because I can't eat after 12 o'clock tonight. So. All right. Thank you again for your support and prayers. I greatly appreciate it. Uh, you all take care, and uh, we'll talk soon. Bye now.